Molly Hunter is in Kyiv for us. Hey, Molly, good morning. Hoda, good morning to you. That's right. This was the biggest attack on the Capitol in weeks. We are in the heart of the capital city right now, and we heard those intercepted explosions, a series of very fast thuds and explosions around 3 a.m. local time. Well, this morning, the Ukrainian Air Force says the air, their air defense systems, which include the Patriot defense systems provided by the U.S., intercepted and brought down every single Russian missile. Now, the focus today remains very much on Bakhmut, and the Ukrainians say they are turning the tide. Now, earlier today, a very disturbing, unverified video has emerged where the Wagner Group claims an American has died in Bakhmut. NBC News has not verified this. We have reached out to U.S. officials for more information. Hoda? All right, Molly Hunter for us there in Kyiv. Molly, thank you. Credit Hunter joins us now from Kyiv. So, Molly, tell us more about these attacks in Kyiv and what it's like there now and the other regions that were, were hit but then, you know, we're successfully defended. Vicky is like good to be with you and you just said kind of the big picture here and certainly what we're hearing from Ukrainian officials is that it was a massive success for Ukraine's air defense and, and for defenses excuse me and for the recently acquired and recently deployed western air defenses particularly the US supplied patriot uh, defense system as you mentioned at least 18 missiles and of those at least six hypersonic Kinzel missiles that were fired as Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky returns home with new weapons funding from European allies after that surprise trip there. There. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, not lost in using clay, and certainly no surprise, no coincidence. This attack happened as President Zelensky was literally on the train returning to Kyiv after his European tour. I can run you through a couple of the highlights from his trips to Germany, to France, and to the UK. Uh, from Germany, $3 billion of military aid. That includes air defense system, that includes Leopard tanks. Uh, from Really critical military funding for Ukraine. NBC News foreign correspondent Molly Hunter, thank you so much. Meanwhile, Ukrainian defense officials say they have made the biggest battlefield advancement in months just in the last few days, recapturing more than seven square miles near Bakhmut, now really hoping to build on that momentum and push forward. Lester? All right, Molly Hunter, thank you. There's breaking news.